Hello again. This is John Goslin, your New Age Natural Health Liaison. I hope you're enjoying our exchanges and I wanted to share some exciting news with you. Things are really going amazing with this project and as the days, weeks, months and years move forward, everyone seems to be happier and happier with the achieved results, benefits and improvements generated from our collaborative efforts. I hope you're doing excellent and on this video I'm going to share with you how you can be rest assured in knowing that we are all poised and positioned ahead of the rest of the world and how all of you raving fans who enjoy our offering so much truly are the architects of this community. Without your input, our, effort would, our efforts would be meaningless. So I hope your mind enjoyed the exercise of looking around this page here. So take a minute. It's truly amazing and remarkable how keeping a flexible mind will allow you to conquer all. And it's, it's quite spectacular what some people can bring their bodies to do and how they've mastered the craft of being flexible. And it truly is a craft. But as we move forward and unveil some other components to why it is we're so excited to be working with you, and, and once again, thank you so much for supporting our efforts, I'm just going to talk about three things in this video. And the first thing we're talking about is market shifts and changes in commerce. Not the most exciting topic, but yet it's very enlightening and I think you're really going to like it. And also we're going to talk about trends that give us power. And the last is we're going to talk about this world as you knew it. I'd like to start this journey off in a time machine, if you would. I'd like to embrace historically some of the trend emergences that have taken over and approximately after every 10 to 20 years a new marketing trend emerges as a better way of distributing products and services to the end consumer and the reason why this is important is because in order to be successful on a business side of things you must lead a trend before other entrepreneurs and business owners catch on and overexpose it to the masses so historically speaking if it was the 1930s and you and I were sitting around and talking about commerce and business and the most effective ways to get a product to the end consumer, we would probably be talking about direct sales. And companies such as Avon, Tupperware, Fuller Brush, Encyclopedia Britannica made their, put their stake in history if you would, and, and those were the most prevalent and sensible ways of doing business then. But as time advanced, about 10 years later, a gentleman named Ray Kroc out in the San Bernardino area of California, he was a milkshake sales salesman and what he did was he went into a restaurant that he stumbled across owned by a couple brothers named the McDonald's brothers who were serving everything on fine china and you know the roller skate the whole diner concept out there in California and what happened was Ray Kroc basically merged his thoughts and efforts with the McDonald's brothers and Ray Kroc now gets all the credit but he truly was the pioneer of franchising and what came out of that was just thousands and thousands of business model that truly emulated his success. And this is where the next marketing trend evolves and this is where you can truly help emulate success for us. And it's where the multi-level marketing or Amway was the company that most people identify with. But those companies, you know, they're, they do have a place in the economy and in the personal growth area for individuals. And there are, there are some companies that are very well known out there, such as Amway and Mary Kay and you know Tupperware. A lot of these companies, Tupperware kind of modified its model. But nonetheless, networking came about in the 1950s. And we're going to talk more about that and the trends that give us power slide next. But just know networking is truly remarkable. It's what makes the world go around. And in the 1970s, catalogs and direct mail was the way, the best way and not so much anymore. <laughs> in fact, catalogs and direct mail are, are fueling the uh, recycling movement, I guess, because that's what a lot of people do with them. They see them and immediately recycle them, and that's a good thing. But from the side of a business owner, product brokeraging became on the scene. It kind of arrived in the 1980s through television, and Home Shopping Network and QVC was born. And for those who challenge if it works, just put the, comp the TV on on a Saturday morning or even Saturday night for that matter, a weekend, it's plastered all over your televisions. And QVC is actually UPS's number one client. So if you think 
people aren't buying products on the TV, think again. And another place people are buying products are on the internet because e-commerce is simply here to stay. Um, in my opinion, as a business owner, economist, and just entrepreneurial enthusiast, the brick and mortar way of doing business is, is quite a paradox that's, that's been outed by a more dynamic, new age, and organic click and order paradigm. And that is where we are right now. And one-to-one -one marketing is truly maximizing the best of the internet. And I'm going to get into a little bit about market one-to-one -one marketing in a sec. But I just wanted to shift gears real quick and talk about trends that give us power. Okay, the baby boomers. If you are in the baby boomers, which is 1960, 1946 to 1964, thank you because you've set the pace for so many economic shifts and trends in our economy. Let's go all the way back to the Gerber, Gerber baby food movement. And you know that's a huge industry. Having a four-year-old son, you realize, and, and kids and grandkids and nieces and nephews, and it doesn't really matter where you fit in the formula, but trends emerge, and Gerber baby food is one. The other is the real estate housing boom in the 80s, uh, SUV movement. And moving forward, the wellness and anti-aging revolution is absolutely taken off, and a lot of it's due to baby boomers. And that goes to generation generation Y members, and they have kind of spearheaded the social media internet takeover. It's amazing what's happening online, and I'm not sure how versed you are in internet savviness or not. It's, it's not about that, but it, the internet allows people to price competitive shopping. Okay, it's it's phenomenal when you can go online and, and literally do an analysis of features and costs and benefits. It's truly has put us in the fast lane, but Word of mouth advertising is still the most powerful form of advertising. Now, when you couple one to one marketing with word of mouth advertising, you truly are going to take advantage of the information age. And the information age is simply this we are no longer in the era of trying to figure things out. Okay, there's so much information out there, and I want to just speak briefly on a concept called intellectual distribution. And it's pretty much the premise that this platform that we've put together here for you and with you and soon to be by you is built upon. And intellectual distribution is this. A consumer couldn't care less about anything other than getting in and honing in on exactly what it is that they want. Okay, And that's really put a shift into the buying trends and habits of consumers. And it was to that point, that fundamental shift, that I personally wanted to find a way to customize a business based around my interests, goals, and passions. And I spoke briefly about how I needed to find a way to kind of incorporate myself. So the I Incorporated concept, and more importantly, in a university format, was born. Okay, I knew I had a strong understanding of health and nutrition, and I wanted to build a business around specialized trainings so not only I could get training but other people could including yourself in this matter and, and also use products that were market driven there was a demand for and could cover the scope with unlimited specialties because that's really important having diversity and by having market driven products profitability potential is really a powerful combination but the industries that we work in are diversified multi-billion dollar markets okay limitless opportunity and again, leveraging that artificial intelligence and technology of the internet is huge. But so we do embody all of that and embrace that motto. And it is to that point that I just want to go back to the one-to-one -one marketing model. What is it all about? Okay, it's really simple. People hate to be sold, but they love to buy. And that only occurs when you have a relationship with somebody. You see, big business, the brick and mortar businesses, they don't know you, they can't track you, and that's not a bad thing. <laughs> um, but they don't know your buying habits and patterns. And for people who do, who can match products to you, like it says up here, matching people to products and products to people, that is where the, the futures of business success lie from both the consumer side of things and also the business owner side of things. Because that's going to allow business owners to protect themselves from market swings. Okay, what we do in the program we work with, we outsource all of the research and development costs. We don't accrue a thing in that regard. All we do is 
maximize artificial intelligence online and take the relationships that we've built offline and merge the two. Okay, it's really cool. It's it's really exciting, and I just want to sum it up in this quick story here. Okay, and here's some familiar product brokers that you're already familiar that you've already been accustomed to or have experience to know about. And I'm just going to highlight them and then also bring it in full circle and explain how we're exactly like them just with a little bit of a different spin on it. So Amazon.com, they are the most prevalent online marketing and sales website out there. Okay, They don't make a thing. They simply house it all on the Internet. Walmart, on the other hand, houses all of their products that they don't manufacture or produce, just like Amazon, just like us they house it on what would be called physical distribution. So you have to physically go to the store, get your carriage, you know, check out, drive home. You understand what I mean. Okay, that's kind of old age model. And in the new age model, you want to be able to do the same, but you want to shop from the click and order takeover. It really is amazing. And the th another product broker that you're probably familiar with is QVC or Home Shopping Network. I already alluded to some of their success through you know, their partnership with UPS or fueled partnership through UPS and consumer dollars, but that's what it's all about is you know, merging and, uh, and finding team-oriented relationships. And QVC is cool because they use a different platform. They use the visual platform to market and educate to influence their consumers. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take all of those three processes that you're already accustomed to and make sort of a hybrid model because all of our products are based on the internet. Okay, We have this st as strong of a presence as Walmart, but here's my most excitable and where I get so excited about is, and that's to share with you. See, we've put together this content network and resource center to give you as much free value and content as possible honestly share it with everybody you can because if you don't what's the point of us putting it out just a real quick sneak peek life is about the choices you make okay you can stay with the old age medical only model where that's just about kind of treating the symptoms and hobbling along or you can join the new age integrated revolution of wellness okay and it's your choice really one of them is the, the, the scrawny model as I like to say and the other one's the brawny model so where do you want to position yourself is totally up to you. But again, thank you for your time, consideration, and, and willingness to listen. And the last thing that I'd like to say here on this video is it's later than we think. You know, as I sit here with my son, Zach, where um, he's explaining to me, actually, that the sand in the hourglass is dropping, Dad. It's falling. And you know what? He's absolutely right. So why not make this moment matter? Why not continue to, to learn and grow and enrich yourself in, in favorable wellness practices because if you're anything like me don't you think it's time you allow time to start creating a recipe of life filled with your most important and, mem and memorable ingredients so simple so easy so doable so I look forward to speaking to you soon again I hope you enjoyed this little marketing lesson in terms of what we do and how we do it and why we do it and why it's the most sensible way to go about things. But we'll talk to you soon and be awesome.